Ladies and gentlemen, may I please have your attention for just a few moments? This is the Lord Mayor of Birmingham. The management have very kindly allowed me to make this special appeal to you on a subject which is causing the city increasing concern. The subject is litter. Yes, just litter. It may seem at first a little unbelievable that the dropping of small toffee papers, bus tickets, cigarette packets, etc., should cause the council and other public-spirited citizens so much concern. Until it is realised that collectively those little bits of paper, besides making an awful mess, in a year would almost fill that fine new rotunda building which towers above the city centre. And until it is realised that public money, your money, now being spent on street cleaning, amounts to almost half a million pounds a year, which is equal to the net cost of running the whole of the ambulance service. Despite this expenditure, there is no doubt that the growing amount of litter is spoiling the appearance of the city, with the result that Birmingham is gradually acquiring a reputation for having some of the most untidy streets in the country. All the efforts of the corporation in cleaning the streets and providing litter bins are useless without the wholehearted cooperation of the public. If only a small proportion of Birmingham's million citizens embark upon their antisocial habit of leaving a trail of litter, a street swept perfectly clean can very soon become a disgusting sight. Recent developments in Birmingham have received praise the world over and the city is visited by many people from overseas from countries where nothing is seen of litter. While our visitors may praise developments such as the Bullring Centre and our new housing schemes, many have also observed the enormous amount of litter and they have expressed their bewilderment that people who live in such a fine city as ours can be so unconcerned in respect to litter. It is certainly difficult to explain and I hope that all of you, by your own actions, example and teaching will soon make the need for an explanation unnecessary. I appeal to you all individually to support the anti-litter campaign by keeping Birmingham tidy. Please make a habit of taking all your litter home or placing it in the litter bins. If you have a large item of household litter to dispose of, don't contemplate dumping it on an open site, as some people do, much to everybody's disgust. Seek the advice and assistance of the salvage department. Your full cooperation will help to keep down the rates and thereby other prices. And as a bonus, make Birmingham an even more pleasant place in which to live, unspoiled by the unsightliness of litter. As one citizen to another, Please help. Thank you for your attention.